Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. So let's start. We are going to discuss another real time issue which is about open item management in the GL master. So like once you have posted the transactions in the that particular GL and now if you want to if you want to select or deselect the open item management so how to fix that issue so let me show you first of all the t code is fs00 this jail account this is a balance sheet jail account and here if you see the open item management checkbox is not selected okay so what is the problem if this is not selected now user is trying to do uh, open item clearing so slash o f dash zero three right user is trying to do the open item clearing but uh, he's getting this message there are no open item managed in the account this this so this is the problem and that's why they can't uh, clear the open items in this particular jail account t code is f a g l l zero three jail line items so I give this jail account, execute it. Okay. So you can see the status cleared, open, cleared or open item symbol. So the, this symbol is called the posted symbol. It is not open or clear. Further, you can see from here, what does this mean? This sign means posted. This is parked. This is open and cleared. If your GL has that checkbox enabled open item management checkbox, if it is enabled, then you will see either it is in the red here status or it would be green status. But for us, we see only this tick mark, which is posted status. Why? Because in the GL master, in this particular GL master, we have not selected this checkbox. Okay. Uh, because of this, we are not able to clear the open items. So we want to enable this checkbox. So let us try to enable. I'll go to edit. Select the checkbox. And click on save. So I'm getting this message. You cannot change the open item management at this point of time. The data contents error. Uh, you can't save it. So if you see further. The detailed descriptions so you can read this basically it all says is that uh, once you have data once you have transactions posted in this particular jail account then you can't change it you can only change if there is no transactions posted so they are saying to use this program okay so we will see we will we'll try to use this program we can also use this transition code to call this program so let's try directly we are going to use this transition code itself slash o and this is the transition code press enter all right so we want to activate open item management so we select this radio button and this is our jail account this is company code first we will see in the test mode execute it so we we got the green uh, message here that there's no error we can execute it so let's go back and remove this test run now you can click on execute but this will give the warning it will it will suggest to execute this transition in the background mode so let's go to execute in background select lp01 printer and continue immediate check and save it Right, so the background job is scheduled. Let us check whether this job is finished or not now. What is the status of this job? So here we can see this job is finished just now. This one. Okay, now let us see the jail master. 
This is the jail master. Copy this. And so now you can see this checkbox is enabled here. Right? Open item and is enabled now. Okay, once this is enabled, now let us check uh, ledger line item display in this chair. Now this is sign is tick mark. Let's go back and execute it once again. So you can see now we have this uh, a red icon selected, red traffic light is selected here. Now since the open items is enabled, now let us try to clear few items let's take this one open item and then we'll copy Copy and paste these two document numbers. These are the ones. So credit side same amount, debit side also the same amount. Now simulate. And now we can post this document. So you can see now we are successfully, we have successfully posted this clearing document. So this is how you can, uh, you can enable open item management or you can deactivate as well. So now open item is enabled, right? So if you want to deactivate, same thing, let's go to the same T code, slash N. And this time I want to deactivate. So just select this, execute in the test run. All right, so no error over there. Now let's execute in the background. and uh, for this you don't have to make the balance zero for that particular jail account this will be taken care by this program itself this is our jail master first i'll click somewhere else so that it will get refreshed and then again click to the same jail account now you can see right again this has got deselected all right so this is all how you can enable uh, or you can activate or deactivate open item management in a particular jail account when there are transactions are posted simply you cannot enable it from the jail master data you need to run that program or that particular transaction code so i hope you would like this content if so please do like share and subscribe we will meet in the next video soon till then bye thank you